Hello everybody, welcome to the new video on the CPQ certification question and answers which will be explained in this video and these questions are from the summer 2021 so these are the latest which has appeared least recently in the exam so these are important so stay tuned and as usual you know the drill please do hit the subscribe button and you know uh, that encourages me to make more videos and also bell icon for the notification so that you don't miss any video and also if you have any nice comments or good or bad or any feedback comments please do let me know in this video in the comment section so i will improve on that and try to make a better videos for you guys and also if you want to get the complete list of the questions from the summer 2021 check the description i have the details given below how to download it and you can get started with your preparation with the complete set of the questions and i wish all the best for your certification and let's continue with the questions we have in this video okay here we have the first questions so what are the two ways sales for cpq advanced approval support obtaining approval from a group in a single approval step we have to choose the two answers and what options we have is a any group member may approve yes possible and b approval must be obtained from one group member at a time uh, i don't think this must be true because there is no it's not a role hierarchy or a you know any hierarchy that you are sending that one after other you have to get it so this might not be true and c all group member must approve yes i think this is one of the answer because you know otherwise why would you send it to the group you know otherwise you could have sent it to a user directly instead of sending it to the group and d smart approval can exclude group members below the approval threshold no i don't think so let me show you the reference also but before that let's confirm on the answer which is a and c any group member can approve and c all group member must approve and let me take you to the reference where you can see why it is so okay here we are at advanced approval salesforce help documentation section and here you can see all the you know let's see what is advanced approval so it's basically to automate and customize your approval process with advanced approval package for sales for cpq and you can up you can require approvals when the records meet criteria automate resubmitted approvals and control the order that approvers receive request so basically it talks about approval request and to be specific to our question you can see like approvers and the approver groups basically what it says is like an approval group is useful when you want to send approval to every member of the related team so that's why you know one of the answers c all the group member must approve but yeah you can say like it doesn't say that uh, all the group member must approve uh, for that before that let me show you smart approval smart approval is about which lets you streamline the approval resubmission process and when you enable it the advanced approval compares condition tested field value during the resubmission so it means the condition which is tested before will be tested again in the resubmission and if the tested value of the previous submission is same it uh you know it doesn't send approval requests to the members to which already it has been sent that is the smart approval it avoids duplicate approval submission and what do we have in the question there is smart approval can exclude group members below the approval threshold which is not what is there as the smart approval we just saw this so and this is by you know common sense we can rule out this is not a right answer so a any group member may approve and all the group member must approve so the correct answer is a and c okay moving on what do we have next an admin created a dynamic bundle and needs a product rule to limit which products user see when configuring the bundle okay so which type of the product action should the admin create to ensure that only specific set of the products may be selected from the dynamic bundle so you want to create a rule and wherein you want to use a filters you now suppose say you want to select only the 
no electronic items or hardware or software items <coughs> then what kind of filter you should use that's what the question is so i would say the correct answer is c default filter i'll show in a bit in in the documentation section why it is so with this filter you said okay this product type or a product family should be so and so so that you know it would limit a user in, in a dynamic bundle to select only such products so let's jump into the reference section okay here we are at the dynamic bundles documentation so what it says is you know by default pressing the add option button will take the user to the separate page presenting all the products in an unfiltered search but in most of the scenarios for the feature in question which is nothing but the dynamic bundles an admin would like to display pre-filter list of the products available in the selection like you know in this case we want to use a filter to show the pre-filter list of the user the pre-filter list of products okay so this is the use case that they're talking about here the admin would like the user to select the predefined list containing only hardware products within the hardware feature of manywares bundle okay so how to achieve this you know these are the steps first set the selection method which is being done here and create the field to be used for filtering on the product object and this is here this is the formula field that they are creating for to you know which is the product family and create the field used for filtering on the product option object and here it is and they are <coughs> creating the field to be used for filtering on the product option object and that is again a formula field with the written type as the text <coughs> and then coming here create the corresponding filter product rule so you are creating the product field rule filter where you create a new product rule i mean you you, you want to show it is this. so you create a new product rule type filter and conditions meant active true active true scope product evaluation event always and then <clears throat> you create a new configuration rule with this and then you create the new action which is the default filter that's what you know we are talking about here it's a product family equals to hardware using the default filter with which we are able to show only the hardware products so that's what this question is asking if we come back uh, sorry if we come back here to the question again which says what type of the product action should that mean create to ensure that only specific set of the products may be selected for the dynamic bundle it is default filter moving on we have next question Universal Containers wants to update the quantity of a product in the line editor with a price rule. The rule should apply only for this specific product. Okay, what should that mean do to ensure that the price rules are only price rule only changes the code lines referencing this product? So meaning only if this is the product in one of the code line items, the quantity should be updated. That's what they're trying to achieve in this one so we have what we have the options here create a price condition against the quote line field that contains a value that is unique to the product okay fill in the lookup object field on the price rule with the product and create an error condition against the quote line field that contains a value that is unique to this product i don't think this is the right answer because we just want to update the quantity not throw an error message and fill in the product field on the price rule with product so i don't think even this is the right answer so i would go with the a create price condition against the quote line field that contains the value that is unique to the product selected and then create an action to update the quantity at the quote line for this product so let me take you to the reference where you can get more clarity 
okay here we are at the price condition here you set a price condition which compares the field value summary variable of the formula against the other field value summary variable or a formula so remember we have we just have to compare in the price condition about the product to a specific product that we know suppose say the product is laptop and we just want to get it from the product uh, field and compare it with the like a text or something that product laptop in this case and a rule can contain as many conditions as you like you can add if any additional condition checks like you know if the product is active or not something like that and you specify which condition must be true for your rule to apply its action okay so you can choose the combination of using the and or or to make it you know even more okay, to take the flexibility of that price condition and here is an example a rule can fire its action in response to meeting all condition of one condition certain condition like i said this is logically determining how many conditions you want to be true or a part of the conditions to make or you know to run the price condition action okay this part is about condition here we check the product against the specific product where you want to determine whether the quote line item quantity should be updated or not so now let's go to the price action here and here you see when the price will meets the condition the rule applies its pricing action to a target field a price action sources the value from summary variable formula or a user defined value or other quote line field so this is exactly what we want to do here quote line field update the quantity and then job done so I would go with a create a price condition against a quote line field that contains unique to the product that is selected so a is the right answer so here we come to the end of this video and thanks for watching till now and please do hit subscribe to get more videos like this and do check out the description for the you know complete list of the question for the cpq summer 2021 and if you're preparing for the certification all the best and see you in the next video thank you bye bye